Hi there, it's Sherry from Twitter Painted with Paper, and I wanted to thank you for joining me. I'm going to share with you how I made the poinsettias for my winter frame. And for these poinsettias, you will need the Spellbinders poinsettia die, of course, a cardstock, a die cutting machine, an embossing pad, distress ink, a Versamark pad, Stampendous frontage embossing enamel, a stylus, a rubber pad, and a heat gun. And so for the first step, you will simply take your cardstock and dies, and depending upon your die cutting machine, the correct sandwich, and simply run it through. And for the next step, I'm very carefully removing the paper from the die cut shapes. Also being careful to make sure to leave the paper inside the dies. And again, using the correct sandwich for your die cutting machine, place the first plate down, an embossing pad, the dies with the veins facing up. Another plate. And run it back through your die cutting machine once or twice. And after that, make sure to leave them still inside the dies. You will take a distress ink pad and an ink blending tool and apply the ink to the poinsettias. This just helps to provide a little bit more dimension to each poinsettia petal. And now I'm going to carefully remove the shapes from the dies. And now with a rubber embossing mat, if you don't have one you can always use a mouse pad, and a stylus, I'm going to give shape to each petal. And continue doing this with each of the layers of your flower. And the next step. I'm taking a Versamark pad and just dabbing it onto each petal. And now I'm going to sprinkle the embossing enamel onto the flowers. And as you can see, I used Stampendous Frontage Embossing Enamel. It's kind of a chunky embossing powder with glitter and different elements mixed in.
being careful to hold the flowers with a pair of tweezers, I'm going to heat emboss each flower again. And again, continuing with each layer. And now it's time to assemble the poinsettia. I use either fabric tack adhesive, Beacon's 3-in-1 adhesive, or in this case I'm using Zip Dry. Just a little dab on the center of each petal or, sorry, of each layer. Um, and then I'll use a stylus to press down on it in the center, making sure all the different layers are adhered together. And at this point, you can put either uh, a cluster of rhinestones, as I did in my winter frame, or a single rhinestone is nice as well, or even a pearl, or a dab of stickles. And now uh, we have a beautiful poinsettia. And I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me.